I'm not a smart man. If I was, I would have figured out how to escape YouTube's BS algorithm and reach the million subscribers I so richly deserve. <laughs> but I saw Twitter blue as a major mistake. Originally, I was indifferent and assumed you had to be verified to be able to even buy the check mark for eight bucks. I assumed they would bar people from switching their names after they got the check mark. When I found out there seemed to be little to no checks and balances in place, I began to agree with mainstream media. I had that same sense of existential dread when I found out I was siding with Pokimane against Twitch and she hates me. I'm sure people who worked at Twitter told Elon that Twitter Blue would cause devastation to the platform the likes of which had never been seen. Either that or Elon didn't care about the warnings, or he greatly underestimated how many trolls exist online, and he underestimated how many people are incredibly stupid in 2022. Twitter Blue launched and the floodgates were open. We had great tweets from Joe Biden and Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Matt Walsh won't stop calling me and talking about my genitalia. Dear Dyer, President Biden, I'm over here stroking my I got lotion on my <laughs> Then trolls branched out to pretend to be Nintendo of America with Mario flipping the bird, George Bush proclaiming he liked Iraqis, <laughs> with Tony Blair quote tweeting him, holy Jesus. Fake Tesla, breaking news. A second Tesla has hit the world trade. Oh my God. Oh, and there's the re-roll. Video is brought to you by Surfshark. Surfing the web gets more and more dangerous and ever more intrusive every day. Take back some of your privacy from ISPs in Silicon Valley with Surfshark. You don't need your ISPs knowing what you're looking at and then selling it to companies to sell you more smut in the afternoon. Surfshark is here to clean up your web experience. Block those pesky trackers and cookies. What a man looks at on his own time is his own damn business. Get out of here, Google. Surfshark even goes the extra mile by writing a blog that explains to you how you can even save money on airline tickets using a VPN. This is crazy. I didn't know you could do this. Let's not forget, you could use Surfshark to watch region lock content. Wink, wink. Click the link in the description or use the code It's a Gundam to find out how you could save 83% and get three months off for free. And guess what? If you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. You can't lose. There's even a parody account that wrote about how they got verified as Jesus Christ. Things were looking up, but the real trouble came when the trolls started impersonating major companies. I can understand why Twitter executives quit the second this started happening. Because this is bad. Things really hit the fan on the 10th when trolls impersonated Eli Lilly and company. And they said, we are excited to announce that insulin is now free. This one goofy tweet cost Eli Lilly billions of dollars, erasing over 15 billion US in market cap. It's over. We are screwed. After the fake account made the goofball tweets, Lockheed Martin lost $875 million, so just shy of a billion dollars. We will be halting all weapons sales to Saudi Arabia, Israel, and the United States until further investigation into the record of human rights abuse. You know, it's weird. People have died for so much less money. If I did these goofball tweets and cost these major corporations cash, I'd be scared. I would be. Because you just disappear one day. These guys can wait. Like, you think you're cool. It's 10 years later after your joke tweet. You're getting some groceries for your family. Boom, black bag over your head. You thought you'd get away with that little joke 10 years ago, did you, Mr. Bilbo Swaggins? <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh, of course, the impersonator tweets were taken down and their whole profile set to private. I don't think you're going to get away with this, to be honest. There's no way you could. We're not even going to get into how crappy Big Pharma is because we ain't got all day for that. But by 9 a.m. the next day, Twitter Blue was pulled completely from the site. Oh, no. What? What happened? What ha Oh, no. How terrible. That's just... That's just awful. How terrible. Oh, no. 
they're retooling it. The fact Elon pushed for this and somehow didn't see all of this madness coming is mind blowing. He either A, Kanye West himself, or B, he knew this would happen and didn't care. Like this could have been his end game. Maybe secretly, Elon Musk is the Joker. In the span of 48 hours, Twitter had more bugs than Fallout 4. But to be fair, I think Todd Howard would have never gave the green light to Twitter Blue. To add insult to injury, Twitter Blue didn't make that much money. Twitter Blue brought in $488,000 in those two days of it being up. So for the $8 price tag, that's roughly 61,000 people in the world subscribed to Twitter Blue in that time before all hell broke loose. Now to put this up against the brand damage that Elon Musk is definitely going to take from this, Tesla's going to get hit. Twitter has lost a lot of credibility, like a whole lot. I mean, Twitter was bad, obviously, but now like... It's somehow worse, but I enjoy it. That 488 bucks they made is a fart in the wind, considering major companies lost billions on the stock market. Eli Lilly lost more money in that one day than Twitter Blue would have made in years with these numbers. But the fire wasn't over. Audio leaks from meetings with the Musker and Twitter workers somehow leaked right afterwards, and Elon wasn't pulling any punches. Even if people return to the office, the offices are separate offices. We won't be in person anyways. Yes, but you can still maximize the amount of in-person activity. Twitter is not in one place. Tesla is not in one place either. Uh, but, you know, I, it's basically, if you, show up, if you can show up at an office and you do not show up at the office, resignation accepted. End of story. He's a monster. Oh. That's a pity. Time Magazine then put out a detailed overview of everything that happened behind the scenes. They keep wanting me to pay so I can't get past the paywall, but I got a few excerpts. Twitter executives also suggested assessing the list for diversity and inclusion issues so the cuts would not hit people of color disproportionately and avoid legal trouble. Mr. Musk team brushed aside the suggestions. Two people said. How do you get in legal trouble? Like, what are you going to do? Sue him? He fired too many black guys. How does that work? Tucker was Chinese. What are you doing, Elon? He's Asian. Here's another one about Lord Musk's demands. He laid down a deadline. The team must finish Twitter blue changes by November 7th, or its members would be fired. Last week, Miss Crawford shared a photo of herself sleeping at Twitter's Twitter San Francisco offices in a sleeping bag and an eye mask with hashtag sleep where you work. Her message rubbed some colleagues the wrong way. They wondered in private chats why they should commit long working hours to a man who could fire them according to five people in messages seen by The Times on Twitter. Ms. Crawford responded to what she called hecklers by saying she had received supportive messages from the other entrepreneurs and builders of all types. Now you want to keep your job, you better sleep there, I guess. The other Twitter workers are like, he might fire us, so I'm not even going to try. It's like, that's a good way to be fired. One engineer manager was approached by Mr. Musk, advisors or goons, as Twitter employees call them, with a list of hundreds of people he had let go. He vomited into a trash can near his feet. That engineer must have been crying musker tears. <laughs> that was probably a tasteless joke. How dare you still write this? Elon has shown that his only priority with Twitter users is how to monetize them. The person wrote in a message, which was viewed by the Times. The employee added that Mr. Spiro, Mr. Musk's lawyer, had said the billionaire was willing to take risks. Mr. Spiro, the employer said, told workers that Elon puts rockets into space. He's not afraid of the FTC. The FTC said that it was tracking the development at Twitter with deep concerns and that no CEO or company is above the law. Mr. Musk later sent employees an email saying Twitter will adhere to the FCC settlement. So that was when Musk wanted out. He's like, screw them, they can't touch me. And they're like, we'll take your money. He's like, okay, I'll buy it. At Goldberg, Twitter revenue division, the company had to bring back those who ran key money generating products that no one else knew how to operate. People with knowledge of the business said 
One manager agreed to try rehiring some laid off workers, but expressed concerns that they were weak, lazy, unmotivated, and they may even be against Elon's Twitter. Two people familiar with the matter said, That's gotta suck. You get rid of some people you know would be a problem, but you kind of don't have anyone to replace them, so you gotta hire them back. And the question is, will they take the job? And if they do, you know they'll hate every minute of it, and you would try to sabotage you at some point. Like, keep a journal. Now, what else is going on? Oh, uh, NBC News got flagged for being harmful. It's nice to see, like, a major news outlet get flagged for something for a change. Am I right? Do you know how many times I've been flagged for harmful? I don't influence anything. I couldn't even influence my ex-girlfriend to be nicer to me when we are dating, for God's sakes. But they'll say I'm the harmful one with some sort of power. That has nothing to do with anything. On November 11th, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, this is an email from Elon, isn't it? Uh, to Twitter team, I was at Twitter HQ again until late into the night yesterday and would like to extend a note of appreciation to those who were with me, as well as those working remotely, some of whom had been up even later. To reaffirm, working remotely is fine if you cannot reasonably make it to the office and you are performing at an exceptional level. <laughs> I'm sorry because I no. Somebody read that and they were like, oh my god, how triggering. Exceptional. Mediocre was fine before you, bigot. That said, I am a big believer in the e-spirit, decorps, and effectiveness of being physically in the same location. I will be in the office again today. Stop by the 10th floor if you'd like to talk about taking Twitter to the next level. The priority is near-term action. Thanks. Elon. You know people hate him that work there because they like sent this and it was supposed to be a big dig. It's like, look, he wants us to come into work. That's why nobody is sympathetic. Like normal people have to go to their job and actually be there. And the Twitter workers are like, he's not letting us work from home. This is terrible. Then Elon must put an end to, to the free lunches. Say it ain't so, Elon. No five star meals for the tech workers? How draconian is this? On Monday, some Twitter employees arrived at work to find that certain systems they had relied on no longer worked. In San Francisco, an engineer discovered that some contracts with vendors that provided software for managing user data had been put on hold or had expired, and that the managers and executives who could fix the problem had been laid off or resigned. On Wednesday, workers in Twitter's New York office were unable to use Wi-Fi after a server room overheated and knocked it offline, two people said. Mr. Musk plans to bring making employees pay for lunch, which have been free at the company's cafeteria, two people said. Literally, the server room's damn near caught on fire. You're trying to do your menial job. You get the email from Elon Musk, and it's like, not only is Wi-Fi not working, but you will be paying for lunch. Gordon then vomited into a trash can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've hated Twitter for years and I always fantasized if it's demised but I never thought it would be this funny I'm in tears dude I, I'm sorry I forgot to mention that Elon Musk has also gotten rid of the days of rest Twitter's days of rest for employees are now a thing of the past under the new owner Elon Musk, according to reports Thursday. Twitter began offering a company-wide paid rest day per month in addition to normal paid time off during the early days of the COVID pandemic. The policy was meant to help reduce burnout among staffers, but Musk has eliminated future days of rest from Twitter's calendar this week. Sources familiar with the situation told Bloomberg. The move came as Musk swiftly overhauls Twitter's workplace culture, blah, blah, blah. No days of rest and no free lunch. Company Wi-Fi down. Systems you need to manage the damn site are gone because the person who knew how to run it was fired or they quit. This is actually clown shoes. This could be a TV show. Literally, Twitter's demise is the office in real life. The Musketeer had some good ideas that brought some fairness to the platform for the first time in a long time, but he also had some very bad ideas that seem to be making a bad situation even worse. And there's a strong chance that Twitter could go bankrupt. 
if everything stays the course. But hey, Japanese Twitter is a much happier place now thanks to Elon Musk's policy change and getting rid of all the twerps that were pretty much flooding your timeline with political jargon. I noticed there's so much less in mine, thank God. So there is a silver lining to the cloud, my dudes. Well, I'm doing a giveaway. I originally planned this to be like my 1 million subscriber giveaway, triumphantly strutting my stuff as I finally get what I so richly deserve. But it's clear that this site hates me with a white hot passion, no matter what I do. But in light of the fact that I'm getting screwed, which is nothing new, that's why nobody really cares. Oh, Gundam is going down in flames? Huh, it must be Tuesday. I'm still giving away a PlayStation 5 Modern Warfare Edition version of the console for Christmas season. God bless us all, Tiny Tim. Uh, point being, you know, watch the videos, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, I won't be able to get a hold of you. Use the hashtag sub to It's a Gundam, you know, whatever. We'll get the ball rolling. Uh, the winner will be announced on the community page and on Twitter. I will contact you on Twitter to get your address to send this.